Call all y'all about shim y'all shy. Call all y'all about shim y'all shy. Y'all will why y'all will shy. All praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Akakadash. Shalom, Lebakarium, Shor, Yasharala. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Nathalaya, Ha, Kasayam, Shor, Dawada. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. All praises, Father. Shalom, brothers. And what I want to touch on today is the spiritual aspect of us containing and obtaining and receiving this precious knowledge from the spirit world. And we're hoping with the fear of the Lord, our whole goal, this whole walk of ours, is that we're hoping and praying that we are written in the book of life because those precious souls the elect they've been written in the book of life way before the foundations of the earth were created they were written down by the hand of the heavenly father through his son in the spirit world and we're praying and we're hoping this is why we fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. this is why we pray and fast brothers our whole goal is for us to hope that as prisoners of hope that we may be written in the book of life as the scripture says because this thing of ours is serious and we're coming to the end where your Lord is sifting the house of Israel and he's separating the unbelievers from the believers and we see this happening in Israel today with the false prophets, the sorcery. These warlocks in, in Israel today deceiving the masses, the scoffing, the offensives. All prophecies are being fulfilled at this time because we are at the end. So the Heavenly Father, we're praying to him that we are written in the book of life because if we are not destruction and fire and punishment is coming for those unbelievers and we fear we do not want to be destroyed here we do not want to be punished by the heavenly father we want to be exempt and only the elect those sincere men and women in these last days they're gonna hearken to the testimony of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and they're gonna practice it they're gonna hold fast as the scriptures say in Revelation chapter 3, hold fast to what you have. But the scripture also said that the Lord will help us overcome at the end. All right? Because we have been faithful to the end. We pray and pray, brothers, that we are written in the book of life. That we are written in the book of life. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 7. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And this is Esau Edom. All right. This is him with his system, with his Babylonian pagan wine, his wickedness. As Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 said that he will wear out the saints. And sure enough, he did wear out the saints. He put us in captivity. He has slaved us. He wrote down unrighteous decrees against us. He gave us projects. Okay. Defiled bread that we're eating among the Gentiles. He has destroyed the earth. All right. He has poisoned and polluted the air, the water we drink. And he continued to enslave us through the prison industrial complex. And the list goes on with all the charges that this devil has against the children of Israel. So yeah, he was given, he made war, and he's still at war with us. As the scriptures say in the book of uh, Numbers, he shall have war with Amalek forever 
And Amalek was the grandson of Esau. That same lineage, that same wicked bloodline. Today, we are at war. This devil is at war with the Heavenly Father because he's at war with his children. More and also the elect. So as the scriptures said, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. As the blessing in, in Genesis 25 said that he was given the blessing, the dew of the heaven, all right, the resources. And with the sword was his blessing, he would control the world, all right? Verse 8, and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. So those men, you two-thirds, that we are praying that we're not part of, that we're striving to be part of the elect, you two-thirds and heathens and East Edomites, you're going to worship the beast. You're going to take his image. You're going to receive his mark. You're going to bow down to his worship. Because you haven't been written in the book of life. Only the elect been written in the book of life from the beginning. Okay? Only the elect. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with him a hundred and forty-four thousand. Having his father's name written in their foreheads. Okay? Having the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in your mind. This is why we praise the name. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the fourth beast and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. And this is that song, brothers. No one can know that song but the elect. All right. Song of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 1. O thou that were as my brother, that suck the breast of my mother when I shall find thee without, I would kiss thee, yeah, I should not be despised. I would lead thee and bring thee into my mother's house. Who would instruct me? I would cause thee to drink of spiced wine, of the juice of my pomegranate. And this truth is like spiced wine. This is this is parabolic. His left hand shall be under my head and his right hand shall embrace me. Oh, char oh I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that you stir not up nor awake my love until he be pleased. And it goes for you other camps that carry weapons and bulletproof vests. The Lord is not pleased with that. The Heavenly Father said, do not stir him up nor wake him up until he is pleased. The Lord is coming as a travailing woman to redeem the elect and to destroy this man, his kingdom, his rulership, his wickedness. We are not supposed to take action, but wait upon the Lord. As the scripture said, wait upon me. All right. We're supposed to wait on the Lord, brothers. Song of Solomon 3 and 1. By night on my bed, I saw him whom my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. I will rise now and go about the city in the streets. And in the broad ways, I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I saw him, but I found him not. And this is why we go out to the highways and byways. This is why there's a commandment from Yahweh Shai to go out into the highways and byways. Because we're out there to proclaim and warn the people and do our job. And to find the elect, whoever they are, if they walk by, if they look through the through the electronic epistles, all right, we're sealing the elect so we can get out of here and our Lord could come down and redeem us. Verse three, the watchmen, who are the watchmen? The prophets, those that are watching, those that are sincere, those in the highways and byways putting in work, man. The watchmen that go about the city found me. And we all learn who we are as Israelites from someone that was teaching in the highways and byways or a video that we ran into with the great millstone elders and apostles and other brothers. The watchmen that go about the city found me to whom I said, saw ye him whom my soul loveth. 
See? And this is why it's so important. But only those that have the new song. As the Song of Solomon said, that is the new song. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time, Shemakayala, Michael, stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. The elect, those that are written in the book. The book of life that were redeemed before the foundations of the world. We're hoping and we're praying that we're part of that book, brothers. This truth, man, is not a game. It's not something, it is not a hobby. It's not something you do to wait to uh to let time go by. This over and over has to do with life and death. And this devil's coming with great wrath soon, and he's gonna present that karagma. And we pray, Yahabashim Yahabashai, help us to overcome because we want to be those that are written in the book. It all boils down to those that are written in the book. Verse 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Immortality is coming to the elect because they did their job. They watch. They were good brothers. They were charitable. They were sincere. They were false. They were far from hypocrisy. They did the work. They did according to what the scripture have said. They fear Yahweh Shai. These are the wise that shall shine because they turn many into righteousness. Turn many, that's a good thing, going out to the highways and byways, doing your videos, praying, watching lessons. We at the end. How much more now, brothers? How much more now? Revelation 20 and 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Call her law, Yahweh, by Shem Shai. All praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Lord willing, this was edifying. And this is only for the house of faith. The humble, the meek, with the contrite heart and spirit. Shalom, brothers.